Life's a grand old adventure. Sometimes that grand old adventure brings you to a fantastic place. Today that place is Nashville, Tennessee. We are in Woodlands Vegetarian, Nashville, Tennessee. We're at the Woodlands today, a vegetarian Indian place that's capitalizing on a great opportunity here. They are easily kosherable. Uh, they're a vegetarian place and local rabbi has come in and he has given it a half shirt to provide a place for the traveling kosher Jew to eat here in Nashville. Indian joints are always best bang for your buck in, in their buffets. And it's always worth hitting because you have so many options to mix and match and you have so many great opportunities and there's such great food. BJ's going to tell us what we're eating. Sambar soup. This is more of the mixed vegetables with the lentil and all the spices. This is more of a staple diet back in India. Plantain pakoda, which is the raw bananas. So palak is spinach. Palak is spinach. That's what we have in the menu for today. And then what we got here is lentils, yellow lentils. That's the classic dal. That's on mushroom masala, more popular item on the menu. People love it. These are the condiments. The condiments. So this is more like a sweet uh, tamarind sauce which goes with the appetizers. Mm. And the mint sauce, it's made with um, mint, cilantro, green chilies, mango. Mm. So these are used as like my, you know, for everything sauces? Yeah. These are my dips? Usually go on the side, yeah. My pakora gets dipped in these bad boys? Oh, absolutely. Mm. So here we are, we're sitting here, we got everything. I have all my sauces, all my tamarinds, all my everything going on. We're gonna start with soups. The sambar, this is always gonna be spicy. Mm. Mm. Got me a plantain. I'm going to dip it in some green chutney. They sneak some mango in there, which is a good secret. Yeah, classic chickpea crunch. And a lot of Indian food that we're used to is going to have that heavily spiced potato. But in this version, it is a plantain, which is a banana version of a potato, in that kind of same heavily spiced. And it's beautiful with just a little firmer texture, you know? It's a little meatier almost. They have something called Gobi Manchurian. Now, now Gobi is a, is a cauliflower, and there's like a fried version of it. It was voted. Oh, the best substitute chicken. Best chicken substitute appetizer. It looks beautiful, it smells beautiful, it looks like a great piece of chickeny crunch. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking dish, and you think, wow, that's gonna be such a fiery chicken, and you take it, and it's really just a beautiful, beautiful use of cauliflower and a beautiful use of a crust and a beautiful use of a sauce to give you something that your brain thinks is going to be totally different and it delivers so beautifully in such a, a fun little package. This is called a puri. Basically just like a big shot of crispy outside stuff inside. You take it like this and you go, hello to meet you. Mmm. Mmm. It's got a coconut chutney, it's got a yogurt in there. Gentle, spicy. Oh, man. I've been to Nashville. I have seen the light. It's in this thing called a puri. This is called the dosa. Uh, we've we learned how to make it on camera before. We saw it here at this place in Cincinnati. This is that big, giant pancake filled with potatoes, all your sauces, all your dips, all your fun fingers. Go like this, I'm actually gonna move that on the side because I want some of that potato inside. Nice, oh, spicy, chili. The dosa with the potato on the inside and the right spicing and then the dipping and the whatever always returns a memory to me or an idea to me that, oh, that, that tastes like an Indian dosa. That's an Indian potato, it's an Indian spice. It's great because you don't really see it in kosher but if you build that kind of base platform, you're gonna see relationships to that base platform and other things you try. I'll see you on the dark side of Galab Jamun. This is our favorite dessert, you know this one. This is a, like a semolina fried donut just soaked in that, that aromatic sugar syrup. And it's wet and it's goopy, it's delicious. Something so satisfying to have a dessert as rich as filling, kind of nutty, but moist and 
so deep. They ain't playing around with this. We're here, we got to experience a great time in Nashville. We got to experience a great lunch, to learn all about all sorts of fun things, learn what Indian food can be and how it can provide great access to the kosher commuter in a small kosher community. This has been Woodlands, Nashville, Tennessee, because you're the only 10 I see. Oh, 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 oh,